Get ready for this enlightening session on Quest Talk. In this episode, we will analyze the powerful role of artificial intelligence and its current and future significance in the work of TV and film distribution sales teams. Join us to learn how AI is changing the way we operate. Our topic today is how technical improvements like analytics and AI have a lasting impact on the work of digital film and TV distribution sales teams. So with me today is Vanessa Fiola. Welcome, Vanessa. Hi, Christian. So for starters, could you please give me a brief description on how um, the current situation is uh, in your field and maybe give us a brief example? Absolutely. So within digital TV, film, distribution sales teams, what you're seeing is a material ma amount of sales teams worldwide are still working in what we would consider to be largely manual operations. Um, so what that means is that they are using spreadsheets to either plan or present their data to their licensees or their customers. Um, they are swivel chairing to pull out avails from a totally different system and then put that information back into those Excel spreadsheets. They're sending information back and forth via email. It's just a largely manual process. And of course, what that means is that if you're spending your time searching for data, um, sending information through email, then it limits the ability to really optimize your sales functions. In other words, okay. Could you be leaving money on the table? Are there any specific challenges that apply to the sales executives as well? Absolutely, right. So the sales executives spend a lot of their time, a good portion of their time, looking at dashboards, um, large data sets, and also reading reports and having to really infer meaning. And so we think there's a great opportunity to really optimize it for sales executives as well. Mm -hmm. What significant developments or trends do you see uh, currently? Well, Christian, I think this is a really great time for content sales. Um, for starters, of course, the uh, proliferation of data analytics at scale. And of course, with data lakes now, you can bring together very large, broad data sets and use that to really drive and understand um, title performance and even you know, really understand what's not performing. And then, of course, if you layer in predictive analytics and AI and gen AI even, well, now you're saying, okay, um, give me an early indicator of how this title will do from a sales perspective or from a natural, in natural language, we can receive updates on title performance. And I think that, or to identify blind spots where we're not seeing them. And I think that that's tremendous, um, that AI's ability to augment human operational tasks is just, it's phenomenal. I'm really excited about it. All right. So I get uh, AI is a, a big part of it. Uh, we will get to it later again. Okay. But um, having the technology doesn't solve the problem uh, by on its own. So uh, where we generally, where we go from that? I mean, that's a really great point, right? Technology isn't the only solution. We have to also consider how teams work. And I think backing it up before any implementation or series of implementations, you're really looking at the strategy first. And in this case of distribution sales, we start with the goal of really optimizing how sales teams work, mm -hmm. right? And the purpose of that is to really be able to better exploit your catalogs and your, and your title um, and your, your digital vault, if you will. And so once you have your strategy, then you take a look at your current processes. And the goal there is to really say, what do we want to keep and what do we want to improve upon? From there, you work with the teams who are actually going to be doing the work. These are the account teams, these are the sales operations teams, the sales planning teams, to help design that future state processes and the future state system, because ultimately, um, they know their business best, right? And they are the ones that, if they're designing it alongside um, our teams, they are much more likely to use it, and the user adoption is, is what's really critical here. All right. Um, so let's now get a little bit deeper into AI and actually do you work with it. Um, what role does it play in your um, in your field and uh, how do you work with it uh, day well, by day? I mean, you know, like we've talked about with sales teams, it's actually pretty similar from a consulting perspective mm -hmm. as well. One example of that is blind spots. We've talked about that um, a few minutes ago. And I think about the ability um, for consulting teams, you know, the really as a consultant or technology partners, you really think about with every single project, how do we deliver the most value we can for clients, for the people that we're working with and the teams that we're working with? And one of those areas is the ability to take large amounts of data sitting in hours and hours of meetings and trying to understand 
what you're doing and what you want to do, and then to cull that in to requirements. And oftentimes what happens is you'll go through those pieces of data again and again and pulling out the sweet spots and the things that you really need to listen for. And the thing I love about AI and the promise of, of Gen AI is that it does that, that processing mm -hmm. in, in seconds, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and then you don't leave it there, right? As, as the technology team, we come back, we look at those answers, and then we massage that or we augment that or we add to that, but it saves a tremendous amount of time. And then of course, there are the things that can also help the sales teams with task automation, mm -hmm. turning meeting notes into actual requirements or setting up meetings or things like mm -hmm. that. Okay. But ultimately to drive more value for the client. Yeah. So in general, you would say the main uh, benefit is um, a time saving or are there more um, benefits, especially for you, uh, for the work side and the client side? Time saving, but yeah. also drawing insights that we might not have noticed before. And I think that's exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, for the last question, I would like you to take a brief look into the future and uh, maybe tell me how AI could potentially impact um, the industry in the long run. Well, I think about it in four ways. The first would be really building personalized uh, strategies with your customers. So it gives you the opportunity or the ability to really, when we look at analytics, we think of it as broad sort of data and macro data. But then if I funnel it down to the micro level, I'm really talking about the individual customer. And I think about um, AI helping to build more specific sales strategies. So being able to take you know, data about what's going on with them as a company and tie that into what you're seeing as a deal and relate to them at, at a deal level. I think that it just really helps to build a better relationship with that client. And then secondly, I think about data-driven sales strategies, right? So being able to look at um, competitive information, being able to look at market trends and use that to decide what content to sell in which market, at what format, at what time. Um, And then along with that, I would think about the pricing strategy. So it's the same thing, having historical data at a larger scale at your fingertips. And then finally, task automation. It's things like finding meeting times, crafting messages, and really tailoring that message to the particular customer at that time. But I think we can't forget about the human element. It's not meant to replace that. There is, AI really helps us to focus as individuals on the things that it can't do. And that means building connections with our customers and really building deeper relationships. So we don't have to be afraid and rather take it as an opportunity. Right. Thank you very much for your time today. Thanks, Christian. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel so we won't miss any updates. Feel free to share your topic ideas in the comments. We're excited to hear your feedback and see you next time on Quest Talk.